ten večer, i když večer ještě není. A to, co bych já o něm ještě řekla, to, co možná nebylo řečeno včera, je ten můj pohled na Oriana a to je to, že já, když jsem ho poprvé viděla ve Štokholmu, tak on byl, a teď to nemyslím vůbec špatně, naopak, on svěřím tomu, že on rád mluví o, děti, o dětech, že on by to bral jako pochvalu, on byl jako dítě. On běhal po pódiu, měl neskutečnou radost, skákal, nadšený, chválil ty lidi a tam je vidět to, jak on tou firmou žije, jak žije náma všema, jak žije tím, že ty lidi dosahují úspěchu a je vidět, že pro něj osobně je to jedna z jeho největších motivací. A jsem velice ráda, že si našel ten čas, přijel jsem k nám, protože pro spoustu lidí možná v nějakých projektech jsou lidé, které je založili, nebo lidé, které na tom pracovali na začátku, nikdo naprosto nedosažitelný. Ale on je ochotný přijet sem za náma, podělit se s náma o dalších svých vizích a o tom, jak to dělat lépe, aby i my jsme měli co největší úspěch. A já bych ještě než ho sem pozvu, řekla, že máme posledních 17 kusů jeho kníž, jeho knížek a budou se prodávat po skončení tohohle z toho setkání přímo v té chodbě, co se včera kupovaly knížky od pana Klejtna. Máme jich posledních 17 kusů a můžete si ještě od Oriana vyžádat podpis. A já už mu nebudu brát čas, protože graduje to. Už jsme se dozvěděli včera o tom, že Zenzino je super, že produkty jsou super. Dneska je to o tom, že musíme makat. A i to téma Oriana bude takové, že máme makat. Pomozte mi tady přivítat Orian Sail. with a dream. You have this idea. Sometimes the dream is just about can I get what some other people have? Sometimes the dream is about something that is just outrageous that nobody else has. But before the dream becomes real, there has to be conception. Meaning that the dream has to move from being somewhere and you're looking for it and you say, wow, how can this be true? Is this possible? And some of you might during this weekend when people are showing up from stage and people are talking about all the different things that they're doing. If you looked at your recognition last night, This young guy, have you met him around here? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. And you see that graph in that video that they had? Like, first 273 ranks of our company first month. Then another 800 ranks in our company next month. It was like going straight up. And you go there and you sit there in your chair while they're shooting gold and cars are driving through the room. Should be illegal not to have electric cars when it's inside. <laughs> and you say, can that happen? And that's before you've conceived. Because when you conceive, when a woman gets pregnant and there is conception, it's not a dream anymore, it's reality. What was out there is put inside of you. And I hope that some of you had your dream put inside of you this weekend. Okay, a dream isn't that quiet, not even in Slovakia. A dream is loud, you know, 
When a woman gets pregnant, so Hilda and I, we went through 13 miscarriages before we got Gabriel. And it's one of the toughest things that you do in your life is when you have a dream and you have conception and pregnancy is starting, but then you lose it. That's tough. And went through it 13 times. And I can remember when number 14 had passed that deadline when we knew this one is going to be it. We're going to be parents. I'm going to be a father. Something happened. I got a different swagger because she was pregnant. And she got a different swagger because she knew that my dream is going to grow. And in the beginning, it's small. It doesn't look that drastic. But then after a while, it gets a little bit more loud. Like the people in front here. Some of you might think during last night, where have I come? What are these people doing? They're all a crazy bunch of lunatics. No, they're not. They're not. It's just that when the dream grows and it starts showing, you get a, bit, a little bit louder. You get into the state and you think, oh, what's going on here? And then you get bigger. And then you get louder. Somebody feels like getting loud? Or is it just me standing here on the chair? Okay, now, okay we, we got to get loud about this because I'm not talking about me, I'm not talking about people up here, they're doing fine. I'm talking about you, that what you dream about needs to be conceived, you need to get pregnant with it, and it needs to grow, and it doesn't grow unless it gets loud. I'm telling one thing, you cannot be a little bit pregnant. Either you're pregnant or you're not pregnant. And it gets loud and everyone gets to know about it because this little new thing, this little new baby that is going to come into the world wants everyone to know that here I come. Because it's a new life getting born in you. There is a new life getting ready for you. And it has to be loud. Okay, I'm gonna go back up on stage so you guys can relax a little bit. Maybe I'll bring the chair with me a little bit up here. I'll leave it there. Are we having fun yet? I am. But then the little kid comes out and it's a lot of work. Trust me, I haven't slept for five years. I know we've got one more, so it's five more years. It's like gotta be. Going away on the weekends, doing a meeting at nine o'clock, doing a session at another hotel at 11 o'clock, doing all the pictures with all of you guys, and then closing out here, then driving to Prague, doing another meeting tonight. That's easy compared to having the kids stay up all night. So you get to sleep on the weekends when you travel. But this little kid, you know, when it comes out and your dream starts running around, it's not so easy to control it to begin with. Anybody know what a baby is? Yes. Seen one? Heard about one? Okay, show of hands. So you get the concept. What do they do? Let me go through the nasty details. They eat, they poop, they cry. Then they, after five or six weeks, just before you are about to sit down and just 
close your eyes and hope that you never wake up again. Then they smile and they give you hope. Anybody been treated or is it just me? Are babies here the same way? Babies are universal like this, aren't they? <laughs> Salsa, great performance today. I mean, amazing. Six times! <laughs> This is like sponsoring a new partner, bringing somebody new into the team. They know nothing. And they don't want to do necessarily what you want them to do. So they're like babies. So if you're a baby to grow, you have to give it attention. You gotta raise it up. And one day it'll be a young woman. One day it'll be a young man. One day, this kid will make you proud. But, when we talk about your dream, becoming this baby, giving birth to his, becoming this kid, and the dream making you proud will take something from you. And that is that we gotta develop. We gotta develop as a person and become the best we are. And the way we become the best we are is that we make a definite decision on where we're going. So you need to have a goal of what you're going to take this business to. And I think that, and I hope so, that everyone in this room have made a definite goal of what you're doing in February. Show of hands if you know what you're doing in February so that we get a momentum out of this conference that will make you proud. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? Okay, we gotta be ready. We gotta get the enthusiasm going here. Thank you. One fan down there, I love it. Mwah. We gotta get the enthusiasm going for February. Then you gotta know where you're going for the quarter. Then you gotta know where you're going to before the leadership school. Because when you come to Oslo, and you might not think that you're gonna go to Oslo, but you're going to Oslo. Because when you come to Oslo, you're gonna walk in there, and you're not gonna be the one that just have a little thing. You're gonna be the one with a swagger walking in and you're gonna have a pin. And then you're a diamond in Oslo. Can you believe how it feels? You, you just raised hard and you beat everyone else. Wouldn't that feel great? Okay, some people are getting excited, and I'm getting excited about this, because if all of you turn into diamonds, you would make Jan's goals laughable. Because you don't perform so much. And Jan is laughing, yeah, I like that. I love that. And then you gotta have a goal for the end of the year. Then you gotta put down where you're gonna be in three years, put down where you're gonna be in five years, put down where you're gonna be in 10 years. And most people overestimate what they can do in one year, and they totally miss where they can be in 20 and 30 years. So I want you to think far ahead and have that as a definite decision, written down, repeated every day for five minutes, that this is where my life is going. I am taking my life to a whole nother level. People call it hype when we cheer for you. It's not hype. It's just what everyone should have had around them, which is the second part, and that is who is your team? Who's the people around you? Because 
in every situation, it doesn't matter who you are. You know, if you meet a Ronaldo, he's got swagger, he knows that wherever they sell me to in the world, I'll be able to score goals. You should see his contract, you know. If he doesn't score goals, he nearly makes nothing. So it's cheap for them then. But if he scores goals, the bonuses from all the sponsors and everyone is just insane. But even him, even Lionel Messi, even he needs a team around him. And they need good players around them, they need the best to be around them, because then they can take it to a hole. Okay, let's try this together, okay? A hole. This is multilingual. <laughs> to a whole another level. And we can do that when we've got the right people on our team. And that's why these guys makes me so proud. Come on, give me a hug. What an achievement. What a guy. He is going to a whole nother level. And then you've got Joseph over here. Come on, Joseph. This is your teammate. This is the guy that will bring you to that whole nother level. You need to recognize that you've got some people here that are just incredible. Thank you. But this guy here. It's incredible. And I've been watching them over the weekend. We got all of the directors doing so well, building the business so fast. And then we've got all of the diamonds. And then we've got the really important people, sorry guys, which is the platinums and the executives. And then we've got the really, really, really important people, sorry executives, which is the golds, the silvers, the X teams, the A teams, and the people that are here as a bronze. But even more important, those that have the guts to show up and you have one or two customers, or maybe even none, you've just started. Because the truth is that no team in the world is a great team unless they have an amazing base to pull from. So the important people in Barcelona today, 30 years from now, is all the small kids. Actually, 20 years from now, it's all the small kids. That's important. And all the fans, all the people around us that are using the products, that's the people that is really critical. That's the people. I got to meet one of those guys today. And I let's just say that sometimes I get so impressed with what we're doing. I talk about a global mega trend, and I believe that. And by the way, these people here is this one is really important to us. Sultan and Christopher and Ria and Jan. And then don't forget Jan's wife. She is critical. She's critical to this and the daughter. It's a family that puts this together. But I got to meet this guy. And uh, I say my name, he introduced yeah, himself, and then he talks a little bit, and then I go through some of the things that I wanted to say, and then he just wants to say one more thing, and it's kind of like he cannot stop saying it, he, I cannot leave before he got to say what he wanted to say, and this is maybe the most important thing that I do, that we do, that you will be doing, the reason for you to wanting to be a diamond, a director, a crown, a royal crown, a black crown, who wants to be black crown? Sounds cool? Just raise your hand this morning. An ambassador, royal ambassador, 
Black Ambassador. Black Ambassador. Your guts out. And then a president. Because for 20 years, yeah, that's smart. For 20 years, he'd been going in and out of hospitals in this country. For 20 years. Note that he's 53 years old. No, sorry, 56 years old. And for 20 years, he's been going in and out of hospitals. They've been trying drugs, they've been considering different things. Because he cannot breathe through his nose. And you know, in everything that you do in your life, if you can't breathe through your nose, well, it's not the biggest disability in the world, but it's not a benefit when you go to bed, when you're going to sleep on an airplane, which would be very critical to me. You can't breathe through your nose, your mouth dries out, you snore a lot, you wake up from your own snoring. It's not a good thing. And then a gentleman came to him and wanted to have him as a partner in Cincinnati. And he had absolutely no interest whatsoever. It's like, I want to do that partner stuff. But then the same guy told him about some of the health benefits that was connected to being in balance. And he decided that he would go on the full health full health protocol as the last try, not for himself. He didn't even think about himself, but for his son that was seven. And the son that was seven had some stomach problems that was worrying him. So he bought the full health package for his son, and then to support his son, okay, getting this? A good father here, to support his son. He decides to get on the same thing so that he would do it together with his son every day to help him. And then I get to meet him two months later and he can breathe again. Feel that. Start low in your stomach, breathe through your nose. Pull it all the way up into your brain and think about how lucky you are and how many lives is going to be changed because of what you do. But when we do it, there is always options. Don't you love that you have different options in life? So one option that a lot of people take is that they get, get to a growth rate like this. It's called slow. And then they complain. Oh, it's so hard to do the business. Nobody wants to say yes. Oh, I'm struggling some with keeping my customers in. Oh, some of my customers quit. It takes so much time. I don't know if I can do it. God forbid that you would ever be one of those. You agree? Yes. This means yes. yes. That's universal language. Even little Sarah knows yes. She knows no as well. <laughs> Be careful with her. But then there is some other people, and a lot of you guys that are in this room, you came into this business on a whole different path. You came in on this path, which I call fast. You're exploding your business in the beginning. You don't complain. You go and do those fast ride bonuses. Hot, hot. I don't know if you've heard hot, hot, but it's a thing from American football when your team is passing the ball and you're calling the play and you say hot, hot. And you pass the ball and you said smart bronze, four days. Fast silver, 28 days. X Team Express, 30 days. 700 euros, you're rocking. That's how you want to start. Then you hit A team in your second month and you hit gold in your second month. Beautiful. Then you go, you run, you run, you run. And by the fourth month, you're executive. Exciting. Then you can smell diamond. 
because you can breathe through your nose. You can smell it because you're on the oil. And you rush to platinum, you hit diamonds, boom! And you get your recognition. And of course, for those up here, we've already done it. And for the rest, that's the prognosis for your upcoming days. But then I see a few people, they go fast and then they go slow. And that's where I want to put my warning in. Because a lot of people go fast in the beginning, they get success, they get ahead, they get excited, they do start to dream again, they're getting closer to it, but then they can't finish the race. So you slow down. So here, you were maybe doing 15 meetings a month as a part-timer. If you were a full-timer, you were doing 15 meetings a week, plus, 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 plus. plus. You agree? Yes. And you're pushing it because you don't want to be down here with the slow ones. You want to be in the best way team. Represent the name, get the swagger, be the one that, hey, I'm doing this fast. I won't let my team down. I've got the best leaders in the world in front of me. I want to show them that I will help this go to the next level. Because your dream is worth it. What you want is worth just that. It's worth you going to that level that you've decided upon, that you've made sure that you're going to go to. Some people go slow. Don't allow yourself to do that. And what slow means is that you used to do like five meetings a day, so you maybe did five a day, and then all of a sudden you're down to two a day. And then you do another two, and then you have a good day, you do three, and then you have a two day. That's slow for the leaders up here. And for those that want to go diamond by the leadership school, this is slow. You got to push beyond that. And what I want you to do is to decide to go pro. And that's what the training system is about. That's why you chase down every single person in your team and you get them to that best way. Start training. Oh, people will do anything that they can to try to get you from doing that. I know it because I've been through it so many times. But you gotta chase them down, track their phone, pin them in, lock them down, pick them up. I hope you're committed to doing this. Get them in your car, buckle them up, and then drive. And get them to the training. Because if you get people to the training, you start them on that path where they can go to that whole nother level. Because they cannot become a team before they go to the training. Because the team is created in the trainings. So you can't wait. You have to bring them there. And then they go through the training. And after the training, everyone is, yeah, I'm going to do this. Have you seen that? Even the most negative is say, oh, I want to do this. I'm ready to go now. Just watch me. I'll be the next time and I do all the fast ride bonuses. And then they even do them. But then the gold comes up. The gold academy comes up and they want to stop. Because the natural thing that people do is to do what they've always done. Whatever they've done in their past is what they want to bring into their future. And that's why change is so hard. That's why success is so hard. And what we do in the trainings is something magical. We work on building an attractive personality. We work on building you up so that you become better than what you've been, so that you become somebody that is a lot better 
than you were. So that you don't become somebody from your past, but you become somebody that you have the potential of being in the future. So you roll on to that, you go to the next training, then you go to the next training, then you come to the major in Oslo, then you come to the global event, and then you come to the a training again. And what happens in this training, critical for everyone to be a part of it is that you become the person that you need to become to become a leader that can have a big team following you. It's not a coincidence that we have breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough in this room. It's because there has been people here that have been groomed for 20, 30, 15 years already. They've been working on them.